The name Mario is on everything these days. Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, Mario Strikers, Mario Baseball, and a million Mario Parties. I'm surprised Super Smash Brothers didn't end up being called Mario Battle Arena or something. But this whole idea of bringing together a bunch of Nintendo characters for some good-spirited competition started in 1992 with Super Mario Kart. This was the first game to have so many playable Mario characters, and having them sort of step out of their roles for a friendly race was pretty innovative. It had a light and colorful feel to it. It was a nice game. You could sit down with your family and play and have a good time. Or so we thought. Up until now, most multiplayers had us working as a team or taking turns. Now we were in direct competition, where the ruthless excelled and the weak didn't even place. <laughs> For 110 years, Parker Brothers had cornered the market when it came to ruining friendships. You might say they had a monopoly on it, but now it was Nintendo's turn as brother turned against brother. Alliances were made and broken, and every sleepover became a battle for racing supremacy. Are you ready to become a real race car driver? Yeah, it was intense, but it toughened us up for the multiplayers that had yet to come. Well, buckle up. Because today I'm going to pay tribute to this classic multiplayer game with a classic multi-layered Perlerbeat art piece. Artists, start your irons! As always, we iron in a slow, circular motion. Once the piece is mostly fused together, I'll get it off the boards and briefly iron it once on the flat table to get a nice, consistent melting job. Then I'll put my pieces under some heavy books to cool. Now, you may be one of those perler artists that prefers to only iron one side. I certainly see the appeal of the clean, open look to the beads, but I prefer to iron both sides on pieces like this. First, it's based on video game pixels, so I prefer them to be more square than circle. And second, because this project is going to be multiple layers, I'll need the pieces nice and sturdy. Well, our character's cool, let's make some items. We're going to be attaching all of our pieces to this canvas I painted earlier. I used a special kind of mossy textured spray paint for this grass area. Pretty cool. First few items are going to be glued right onto the canvas. Then Lakitu will get a layer of black foam core to raise him up a level. Peach and Bowser each have two layers. And finally Mario is out front with three. The perfect piece to power up your game room. And this is a pretty easy one to make as well because you can find all of these sprites online for free. And you can always switch out these characters for you and your friends' favorites for a nice gift with a personal touch. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.